Uh, there's some new drama on Wednesday at the John Edwards corruption trial. The former senator's daughter actually had to leave the courtroom during testimony about her late mother. Anna Warner is at the courthouse in Greensboro, North Carolina, where several people who used to work for Edwards took the stand. Anna, good morning. Uh, good morning, Erica and Charlie. And it was during the testimony of one of those former campaign staffers that we saw what is one of the most dramatic moments in this trial to date. It's a moment that shows why Wednesday proved to be an emotional day for both John Edwards and his daughter. Kate Edwards attends court each day, but left in tears yesterday, just as testimony began about an incident involving her late mother, Elizabeth Edwards. Former campaign staffer Christina Reynolds was on the stand, talking about an argument between John Edwards and his wife at a Raleigh airport in October 2007. An Inquirer article about Edwards' affair had been published the day before. Reynolds said she watched as a distraught Elizabeth Edwards stormed off and sort of collapsed down into a ball in the parking lot. Reynolds testified Elizabeth was very upset, telling John Edwards something to the effect of, you don't see me anymore. Then, in front of others, she took off her shirt and her bra. Hearing that testimony, John Edwards looked down and appeared emotional, and at the end of the day left court with his daughter. Legal expert Kieran Shanahan was in the courtroom. Today they try to redirect the focus onto John Edwards and his behavior. Unfortunately, I think the behavior that they focused on had very little to do uh, with the actual uh, charges that he faces. One witness did talk about Edwards' first meeting with one of the donors at the heart of the case. Former campaign staffer Josh Brumberger, seen here in a campaign video shot by Riel Hunter, was with Edwards when he met Rachel Bunny Mellon in 2005. But Brumberger's main concern was Edwards' growing relationship with Hunter. I was particularly concerned about where his head was at the time, he said of Edwards. Brumberger said he repeatedly warned Edwards, but after he alerted other staffers, an angry Edwards called him on the carpet, saying, why didn't you come to me like a man? That was Brumberger's last day. Now, the prosecutors will continue building their case with more testimony from former campaign staffers today. Of course, a key question here is whether Riel Hunter and John Edwards, either one of them or both, will be brought to the stand in this trial. Charlie and Erica, back to you. And Orna, thank you very much.